What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you what it's like to go bowling in the country of Eritrea. So this is behind the scenes of bowling in Eritrea. He manually does the pins right there and it throws the ball back every time. What's your name? Simon. Nice to meet you, bro. As a man. At this one and only sports complex in Asmara, the capital of Eritrea, you can find old men playing a unique version of billiards and teenagers playing video games. But most impressive to me is the six lane bowling alley which you have to see it to believe it. Essentially, the system hasn't changed since it opened up in the 1940s. The lights have gone out and we're relying on a generator but it's still not very strong. So uh, we're waiting for the lights to come back on. Eritrea in general feels like you've entered a time machine back to the good old days and bowling is a perfect example. You pay 20 nakfa to play or roughly one dollar. Hey, thank you so much. Then you bowl like normal, but when you knock down any pins, there are little kids back there who are employed to manually rearrange your frame. Each and every bowl. So we are going behind the scenes to see how they fix the pins in the back. Me too. Yeah, me too. That's right. Oh man, cool. It's so cool, bro. <laughs> you chill like that? Yeah. You sit like that? It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, your name? My name. Here? Yeah, here. What's your name, bro? This? You. Me? Simon. Nice to meet you. Which one is bowling and which one is getting the pins? Me get the pins. You're getting the pins? Yeah. Okay, great. Zero on the first frame, I've been spared. What's your best score? Uh, 205. 205? Wow. 105. Wow, you're good, man. You kicked my <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 15. 15? Oh. You bow every day? Yeah. You did it! <laughs> Every time I bowled was a different experience because the balls and lanes are cracked. Look at this end here. Like how could you bowl with this thing? It's a flat part. I'm not making any excuses because clearly I'm getting beaten here. But it's hard to play when the ball is so unpredictable. But I guess that's just the beauty of bowling in Eritrea. I don't know what I signed up for here. These kids are kicking my ass. They clearly have a lot more experience than I do bowling. But this is crazy to bowl here because the bowling balls are lopsided, they got holes in them, the floor is creaky. Like, I feel like I'm living in the 1950s right now, it's fascinating. One of the cooler experiences I've done in a long time. If you ever come to Eritrea, do me a favor, find the bowling alley, check it out, it's really cool. I got no other words for you guys, this is just a fascinating experience and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Alright, I got some more frames to bowl, here we go. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.